All right, guys, we're going to continue with the Unit 1 discussion. Uh, today we're going to talk about reference maps. We're going to talk about the difference between absolute and relative location. Uh, just like anything, you know, while you're copying down the notes, if you need to pause the video uh, to copy the notes or to think about, you know, your answers for the discussion, feel free to do that at any time. So first thing we'll talk about today is what is a reference map? If you look here, uh, Mother Earth tells us a reference map shows us location of places and geographic features. Uh, this can be physical features, this could be political features, different type of features in geography. If you look at this map right here, we have the map of Tennessee. Uh, this is an example of a reference map. With this, you know, we can see all the interstates in the state of Tennessee. We can see the physical features of the Tennessee. Uh, here's the different rivers. You know, here in Sullivan County, Northeast Tennessee, especially in Kingsport, we have the Holston River running through. Uh, you know, going down into the Tennessee River, into the Mississippi and stuff like that. You can also see the surrounding uh, states that surround the state of Tennessee. So that's an example of a reference map. First thing we want to talk about today is what is relative location? Relative location is pretty general answer is the regional position or situation of a place and position to other things. It is how is it relatively located? And that's where we get the term relative location. Where is it in general? Not specific, just in general. If you look at the map here, we have the eastern half of the state of Tennessee. If you look up on the map, what we're going to ask you to do is where is Sullivan County located relatively? So take a few seconds, think about it. Feel free to pause the video and come back when you're ready to discuss. All right, if you look here, Sullivan County is located right here. Uh, Sullivan County, it's relatively located. It's south of the state of Virginia. It's also uh, west of the state of North Carolina. You could also say that Sullivan County is located in the northeastern part of the state of Tennessee. You could also say that, you know, you could compare it to other counties saying that Sullivan County is due west to Johnson County. You can also say it's north of Washington County, east of Hawkins County, etc. This is where it's relatively located in relationship to the other things around it. Next thing when we talk about reference maps is what is absolute location? Absolute location is a point on the Earth's surface expressed by coordinate systems such as latitude and longitude. You know, what is longitude? Longitude is the numbering systems that enumerate meridians. These are arcs that are drawn between the North and the South Pole. If you look here, it's got a couple of examples of longitude. They go from north to south pole. Uh, and here's an example we'll talk about in the next side, Greenwich, England. Uh, we'll go ahead and click over there. You know, Greenwich, England is what is considered the prime meridian. That is zero degrees longitude. Anything to the right of the prime meridian is considered the eastern hemisphere. Anything to the left of it is considered the western hemisphere. If you go back to the previous slide, there are places around the Earth when you are one-fourth of the way from the prime meridian, they have it specifically marked. And here's an example. What is latitude? You know, latitude is the second part when we get into the discussion. Latitude is the opposite. It's the numbering system that enumerates parallels, circles drawn around the globe parallel to the equator and it forms right angles with the meridians. So if you look here, we have the equator. It's a line of latitude that divides, you know, anything north of it is the northern hemisphere. Anything south of it is the southern hemisphere. Uh, the equator, you know, if you cut the earth in half, it makes it 50-50. Uh, if you go up the numbering system, it goes up to 90 degrees north latitude. 90 degrees north latitude is the North Pole. Uh, 90 degrees south, the opposite end of it, is the South Pole. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at some absolute locations. We have the map that we have previously. Uh, we talked about the relative location of Sullivan County earlier. Um, you know, we're going to talk about Nashville as well, but instead of relatively telling us where things are located, 
we're going to get in depth and talk about absolute location of where things are. So your assignment right now, we want you to take a few minutes. We want you to look up what is the absolute location of Kingsport, Tennessee. Uh, if you go back to the map earlier, it's located you know, in Sullivan County, Tennessee. So Kingsport has to be located in the county of Sullivan. Then we're going to ask you to find the absolute location of Nashville, Tennessee, which is located in Davidson County. Uh, Nashville is located right here. You're going to find the exact absolute location for Nashville. And just to give you, um, you know, some comparison, we want you to look up Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. So what we need you to do is we need you to take a few minutes, go to Google, type in what is the absolute location of Kingsport, Tennessee. It will give you the answer. Type in the same for Nashville, Tennessee, and give you this. It will give you the answer. And type in the absolute location for Sydney, Australia, and it will give you the absolute location. So take a few minutes that. Feel free to pause the video. When you're ready to see the answers, you know, press resume, and we'll continue, and we'll look at the next slide. Uh, here are the answers. You can see uh, the absolute location for Kingsport uh, is 36 degrees, uh, 54 minutes and 84 seconds north, uh, 82 degrees, 56 minutes and 18 seconds degrees west. Uh, so just check your answers. Um, that's the difference between absolute. It tells us exactly where it is uh, compared to relative location where it relatively is. That ends our lesson for today. Uh, we'll pick back up next time. Have a great day.